Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome. Please, as you come on, say hello. Let me know you are there. I'd love to say hello to you. Also, um, if you're watching this on the replay, if you don't mind, please type in replay at the bottom so that I know that you watched. Um, let me see. Let me just uh, put this in another group. Um, and then we can get started. Um, so I've had a couple of questions, like really how easy is it to do chocolate You know, you do it and it looks easy, but really how easy is it? So I was like, you know what? Let me just go on um, and show you. So uh, let me, well, I'll, the door's open, but that's okay. So let me show you what I have got going on down here. Let's get started. So I have, um, what did I do with it? <laughs> I think I put up with my project. Oh, here it is. So I have a transfer. It's a small one. And I want it to do something small so that you can see how easy it is. Um, and then I also have a canvas, nothing major. Um, you can also use our, uh, our boards. Let me get that for you. Um, these boards, you can also use it. All you would have to do is turn it over and then use it right here. All right, but I wanna use it on this um, this canvas here. It's really easy, guys. There's nothing much to it. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is. All right. So all you're going to need is a little canvas. Okay. They're, they're very inexpensive. And you're going to need some paste. And then you're just going to need a little glitter. Also, you're going to need um, a squeegee to apply your paste. And let me see a paper towel. Uh, that's for my hands. Let me get another up. Uh, let's see. What can I use? I'm going to use this paper so that when I apply the glitter, I can clean, I can drop the um, glitter on this piece of paper and I can just put it back into my little jar, all right? So I was debating, this is my big debate, is should I use uh, black lettering and then um, put this with the green glitter or should I use green all the way around? Let me open this up. Hi Blair, hi Tracy, how are y'all doing today? I guess I need to get this out of here, huh, guys? All right, so I'm taking this out. Also, when you are using a new transfer, you have to make sure that you fuzz your transfer, okay? And you wanna fuzz it because you wanna protect your transfer um, because you don't want uh, to damage it on your surface because if it sticks too much, uh, it can actually ruin your transfer and you can also leave some of the green from the transfer on your surface. And that would probably happen like on wood, um, you know, like if you don't fuzz it very well and if you don't wax your wood. So that's probably when it would happen. But you never know, so you always want to be cautious and just go ahead and... Um, and uh, fuzz your transfer. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna place your transfer on your surface. Not difficult at all, is it? Okay, all I'm doing now is I'm running my squeegee over my transfer because I wanna make sure that um, the transfer is hugging the surface. Um, you don't want there to be a bubble and then um, the, the, uh, the paste to go underneath and it not give you a crisp line, okay? 
So I think I decided that I want to go ahead and do it in black and then I'm just going to apply the glitter. That way I can have some black up here and then the green glitter. I think maybe it'll stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, if uh, you don't mind, uh, please share my video. That is how I grow my audience and that is how you can help me grow my audience. Also, I am keeping track of everybody that shares and after a certain amount of shares, I'm giving away something. It can, it can be something related to a Cricut product or something else. I don't know. But if you want to find out, you got to share. So please, please, please share my video. All right. So I am going to put just black on, on, on my uh, lettering up here at the top. All right, and then right here, I'm gonna put green at the bottom. And I just wanna go ahead and do green. I could have done black, but I wanna go ahead and do green because um, in case some of the glitter doesn't stay, um, I wanna make sure I've got it covered in green. Um, let me just add a little bit of water to this. So when you have paste and you feel that it's a little dry, just go ahead and add a little bit of water. It should be a yogurt-like consistency. Okay, that's what that's the consistency you're going for. All right, so now I'm just gonna add my green. I need to take that, there's a piece of, um, dry paste in there that I need to make sure that I take it out. All right, so I'm just gonna pick this up, put the excess back into my jar. Okay, then I'm gonna peel this off. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my glitter on here. Now guys, this is a simple, simple project. So if you have kids, you can do this with your kids, no matter the age. Well, you know, after what, like five, six year old that I've seen doing it on, on some of our, our pages, our team pages, they've shown us their grandkids doing this. So you can do that, you can do it with your older kids, whatever you want. These are just kind of fun projects. They can play with glitter. I mean, who doesn't like playing with glitter, right? And so I am just gonna, I know I'm overdoing it on the glitter, but it's falling on my, it's gonna be on my paper. So I'm gonna be able to put it back into my jar and, um, and we'll be good. I just want to make sure that I'm covering all the spots. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. I'm going to take off the lid here so that I can put it back in there. Take a sip of my tea. How are you guys doing? Guys, there's like there's like six people on here. Say hello. Let me know you're there. I want to say hi to you. All right, let me um, cover this up so it doesn't dry out, okay? And then all I'm going to do is dump my glitter. Guys, how cute is that? That is how easy chalk tour could be for you, okay? It is fun and Really, anyone can do this, anyone. You do not have to be crafty at all. And this kind of just, um, I was trying to see if I have my little brush. Here it is. 
what you can do is just take some of this um, glitter off is just use a little brush if you want to wait till it's a little more drier you can always do that and then go over it with the brush but other than that it is oops it is so fun and so easy how cute is that <laughs> So when it dries, I'll clean it up a little bit more. I'll take some of these little pieces of glitter that are on there. Then I'll take a picture and I'll post it. Um, hi, Vicki. How are you? Thank you for joining me. So guys, that is it for today. Um, I am going to go downstairs and visit with my dad. I am so excited to have him here. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please make sure to put them down at the bottom and I will answer them for you. Let me see, I'm just trying to get this glitter off and I got all the glitter and you see it goes all right back into the jar, guys. You're not wasting anything. All right, guys, um, what is today? Tuesday, so I'll see you tomorrow at 8.30 again. Bye, guys.